So great. Hi guys. Hi, Hello. Hi, Rishi. Hi, Rishi. <laughs> Good to see you guys here and thanks for doing this uh, with me because uh, I was hoping to do this with you guys uh, at when I was there at uh, the Sadhana Learning Center. Uh, but uh, my battery of my mobile, <laughs> it had gone down. And uh, I, in fact, lost one of the other parents' videos, which I'm hoping to do again. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for doing this with me, even in the lockdown state. Thanks. And uh, thank you for uh, you know, uh, inviting us and taking this uh, interview. <laughs> yeah, I love this. I, I think I'd like to do this because I want uh, more people to who are thinking about these things to hear from other parents that are taking this so-called risky step or journey, you know, not uh, tread by everybody, you know, not everybody's going on this path. So I think if uh, human beings, I think, uh, like to know kisi or ne try kiya ke. <laughs> Has anybody gone down that route? Phir hum bhi ja sakte. Then their confidence increases. So I think yeah. that's the idea of these videos that I'm trying to do. Uh, because, uh, I mean, I myself, I didn't want to go to school as a kid. But my mom didn't, there was no internet at that time. Right Now I'm 47. So like, you know. At that time, I was, uh, I remember even in the fourth standard, I didn't want to go to school. I said, mom, I'll go to, you know, I'll go to the general store and I'll sell sweets and all that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to go to school, anything but school. So it's a question of earning money and all. I'll, I'll earn money there. I'll do jhadu katka, but don't go to school. Mein. Somehow it was something that I just didn't like. But my mom tried a lot. She was not sure. And she she allowed me to go up to class 10. And then after that, I said, Mom, I don't want to study anymore. And then she said, okay. Of course, a lot of parents uh, were, uh, were telling, not a lot of my mom's, uh, like her sister, and I think many other relatives, like, how can you do this to your son? college, <laughs> send them to college just because the son doesn't want it. It's your responsibility. And this is after all, 10 standard, huh? And still, my mom was like, no, I think I'm going to go with what he wants to do, which is let him do whatever he wants. I'm trusting in existence and let existence take care of him. You know, life will figure a way out. So it was pretty bold for my mom not to have access to all of this information that we have today. But So for me, that is where it all started. So when I met people like uh, Urmila and Tola and so many of you guys, and you're all taking this amazing step, uh, which is pretty bold. I figured we should have more and more of these videos on. So thank you so much for taking the time to share your journey. Uh, let me now, uh, you know, uh, take pass it on to you. And I would say you start from wherever you'd like. Uh, my basic question to you both is, and you guys can take turns in answering this, is uh, how, what was the whole journey? I mean, how did the thought come about that we should take this step for our children? You know, so there could be layers and layers and layers that this happened and this happened and then you arrived at because I think that's more relevant. That's more important that people hear the backstory because it's not like, chal, chal, aaj kaya karte, chal, let's take the kids out of school tomorrow. <laughs> it doesn't happen like that. There's a lot of thought process that goes into not wanting to send the child to a regular school. So I think the backstory is also very important. So go ahead and take it away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah start so I, I mean, at least for us, for me, you know, the backstory started with you know, our friends, uh, Ravi and Arvinda, uh, who are founders of Aid, Aid India. Uh, they were homeschooling their daughter, Kiali, and that, that's the first homeschooler I think I met. Yes. And uh, we got introduced to the concept and uh, Arvinda uh, uh, casually mentioned that you should read this book, uh, How Children Fail. By and John Holt. By John Holt, right. And uh, so uh, we, we picked up that book uh, and then I just read like one page of that book. <laughs> 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 and, then, and, and you know, uh, in the book, you know, what John Holt says is what actually happens in the classroom, right? There is no learning that happens in the classroom. So <laughs> what he clearly tells you in one page is, uh, so he's observing a classroom and where a teacher is asking a question. Mm -hmm. So what John Holt says is that a kid will raise his or her hand, not on basis of whether they know the answer or not, but whether they think that if I raise my hand, will I be asked to answer? Mm -hmm. So what is actually happening is the game theory, 
right uh, you know <laughs> and, and then then john holt uh, you know through you know first uh, if you read chapters and you really understand how it's it's a manipulation that's happening between the teacher and the student yes. you know and and there is only one thing kids learn in school is how to stay out of trouble that uh, you know that uh, if if you are too naughty then you know uh, somebody is going to back you and you know if you fail then your parents are going to give you grief so like the, the bulk of the, the kids yeah you, you, you just want like to be like an average kid and not get into trouble right and that is the whole philosophy and at, at least for us you know i think that i mean that really unraveled my own childhood in a way right i mean that's what i did like my entire schooling i was just like daydreaming right i was just i learned i mean whatever i learned was inspired of teaching you know and and i think that john holt and you know that that really triggered uh, for for yeah. me i think you know what uh, yeah the uh, like uh, so there is also this book uh, by him how children fail and how children learn so both of these book uh, it's like um, uh, really shakes you your entire uh, childhood and the hours and hours that you've spent sitting in the classroom and you know, all these individual thoughts and it 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 has and you have done that yourself when the teacher about to tick mark on the right question you 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 jump and you raise your hands saying yeah 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 wahi wahi wala answer hai you know sort of uh, um uh, so it 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 is um it is it was very revelatory and uh, then also arvinda mentioned about this uh, sadbury valley school yeah uh and uh, that was a book uh, you know you pick up that book and you just can't keep it down i mean you have to finish it and it was just Three a last. uh mind Three eight last by daniel greenberg yes um uh, it, it was just a mind blowing thing i think we started with our curiosities in that direction and then uh, it there was no turning back then anything uh, putting our children back to the school after we have known all this would have been being dishonest and being uh, you know not looking at what is the truth out there and still like and doing that so it's uh, kind of like have... it's kind of like the matrix you know once you take the red pill are we dig gear so now you can't go back <laughs> so what were those names of the books that you mentioned uh free at last by dan greenberg uh yeah. and john holt books john holt uh, uh, how children fail and how children learn both so so for those of you that are watching this video right now if you want to not take your kids out of school don't touch these two books because then you will see the truth <laughs> that you will have then you'll be in trouble so let's hear what happens to them next go for it Yeah. So then I think uh, we attended the schooling conference in uh, Panvel. In the LSUC. The, that was the LSUC. LSUC. LSUC in Pan Panvel, right? Hideout Farms. Yeah. Um. Uh, that time my elder daughter Kavya was just about nine months, and uh, that's when we had seen all the homeschoolers, Old Villa and Dola Dasgupta, and many, many. And it was just. Um, it was just a different world it was an alternate world altogether i mean uh, here you see all kindergarten the mother toddlers and uh, you know pre k and all these kinds of admissions and uh, you know the whole stress that parents go through while admissions and my friends were asking have you seen that form wo uh, wale school ke liye abhi tak bhara nahi i'm like mai abhi to nine no no mai nahi ka hai so you know the uh, you see that alternate world and you 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 your perspective kind of like changes um yeah. i, I then, think what we did is uh, uh, then you know while we were not fully radical you know uh, by then you know we we decided that at least we send our kids to an alternate school yeah and uh, we realized that you know uh, at that point there was trida is uh, the popular alternate school and uh, then shishu and shishu and happened to be close by Uh, those were the two popular alternate schools here in mumbai and we thought like let's try for uh, both these so trida we filled early on because we knew that was first come uh, first serve but mm-hmm. then we stayed in sain and you know the the commute was very long <laughs> and then we even looked for apartments around that area uh, to say that you know we <laughs> we thought all those things uh, that that you know, we right now you out. guys have a, a a bought apartment or you guys are staying in a rented apartment in sain staying in my parents apartment So and yeah. and you all were planning to rent an apartment if at all you all went there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that so that, yeah. yeah that so Rusha, I sent Rusha to do all the dry runs. 
the right uh, at that school timing you just take your car and you go do the drives come and tell me how much time it has <laughs> taken you uh, how many times have you gotten stuck uh, how was it to because i didn't obviously want to you know you know like subject my daughter to all this traffic yeah, almost every hours, single day two hours every day commute was not possible so, so we eliminated trida there even though we loved yeah. the school and you know maybe we thought it was like a bit uh maybe too <laughs> too elitist but but we were okay we were thinking that you know huh. uh because uh, to understand uh, what was the fees like per year per, per a child in so i think the fees were not very high from what i remember compared to other international schools so what what we also thought about trida was that uh, there was this uh, evangelical streak in trida and, uh, you know there was we went to the orientation and you know somebody asked uh, this question that you know what you know so they teach about about god and all these things and you know what if, you know then i think i asked or somebody if some parent asked that you know uh, do you even tell your children that there is a possibility that there is no god and uh, <laughs> they they said that uh, <laughs> they said no no children can't handle this you know and then i thought in my mind i think maybe you can't handle this right so <laughs> yeah so, so there were uh, there was this thing some about some kind of things we thought i mean yeah fairies fairies, fairies and yeah, angels yeah. and uh, um so the you cannot tell the children uh, the, you have to always tell them when they are sleeping in their rooms that there are fairies and angels looking after them and um things of that kind so it was a pretty little um those kinds of now it was just disturbing <laughs> but thoda down the time mean, we were still okay you know if the commute was not bad if you would have still sent uh, the kids to trida yeah. but theek hai that was trida you know that's uh, and then you know we went into shishuwan which uh, we were really impressed with shishuwan right when when we joined uh that uh, i think initially the pe- uh, very uh, very uh, the first few years were anyways just fun mm-hmm. for the kids mm-hmm. and you know they had a, their own uh, very khadi open uniform. khadi uniforms and uh, very uh, compared to other schools parents they, they, they didn't look at parents as adversaries you know a lot of schools may get that parents are not allowed yeah. uh, you know uh, you just drop them at the gate in the yeah, lesson yeah. the, uh, the culture was very in the sense like a parents can come into the classrooms they can even teach them um very rooted in indian uh, sort of culture indian they had yeah, yeah. um uh, takli in the yeah. khadi curriculum so it was very very interesting to see that something like this uh, very close by so we were happy so we thought okay dono bachche yahan pe ja rahe hain set hai abhi bas apna kaam dekho uh वैसे चल रहा था वैसे चल रहा था फिर नाउ फॉर हाउ मेनी हाउ ओल्ड वर द किड्स एट दिस टाइम नाउ एंड हाउ लॉन्ग दे हैव बीन इन दिस आई थिंक दे वर 7 एंड माय सन हैड जस्ट डन सो माय डॉटर हैड डन हर शी वाज इन हर सेकंड ग्रेड एंड कार्तिक वाज इन नर्सरी या नर्सरी या नर्सरी सो um so, yeah, yeah so what what happened at trida you know i i would say luckily for us is that their management changed and and suddenly they uh, shishuwan 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 management sorry yeah uh-huh. shishuwan management changed and suddenly they they decided they want to become more like an international school and uh, you know they had started taking parents as adversaries and a uh, lot of uh, things uh, did not work out well and that 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 was really a blessing guys for us i know like all these ideas are always uh, bubbling inside us uh, <laughs> and uh, Uh, we also met uh, Purva and Anand- Ananya and Kavya were uh, you know f- uh, friends from the first time met in school. So uh, yeah. they, they, their children also were in that same school. Yeah, same so we class. were co-parents. Co-parents there, yeah. So we were co-parents, and uh, Nitin, um, I, I'm sure you Nitin, remember Nitin and Anand. Nitin was also co-parent. Uh, we had two other co-parents uh, who were ready to send. Uh, you know, uh, five of us. You know, we we pulled out. Yeah. Uh, together and uh, then we decided we'll uh, start this uh, alternative we thought that bachcha abhi hai ek to bigad bhi gaya to it's not nothing to worry so um so we were all we were all interesting set. because you know i i find this one with where you just said you know ek do saal agar kuch ho gaya to no problem hmm. i i feel that's not easy to do i mean most parents 99.99% parents cannot make that statement so easily like the way you did i'm curious to know what happened for you to be able to come to that level of ease um uh, first is i think this is this is to go uh, maybe a little deeper into my own psyche um i think that education right now education in the sense of the school academics is something that is now completely you can figure out in the sense that all the math 
all the science, all the chemistry, bio, everything is something that you can learn by yourself. Now, the, that is what you do. That is a major chunk of time spent learning in the schools. Now, you can do that at your own pace, by yourself, at your own leisure, by, you know, the kind of facilitators you want. So, वो एक major chunk है जो आपने figure out कर लिया है। ये तो उसके लिए school जाने की एकदम, you know, it's not necessary. Like for for us, for our age, if you don't go to school, there is no access to books, there is no access to knowledge. Now I think uh, curiosity, knowledge is available everywhere. Now curiosity is the thing that you need to have. If you are not curious, you will not press that button. Now knowledge is everywhere. It's on your, you know, phone, smartphone, laptop, ka har jagah par hai. You only need to be, and that is the thing that we need to maybe preserve our kids. So what, what triggered that understanding? Now, we know about this since the late 90s, right? We got to, with the access to internet, right? By 99, 2000, 2001, Google and search the whole world instantly was something yeah. we became aware of. But to, to jump from there, that we have access to information versus we can pull them out of school. That I'm not hearing still. <laughs> But what we also did is that during this time when, you know, all of this, these five families, you know, we were like very dissatisfied with how things were. So we thought, let's explore what other schools are doing, you know, what other good schools are there out there. So we went to a lot of uh, schools, all schools uh, in and around Mumbai. And I think for us, I think the trigger was again Jignasa, you know, Jignasa is, a, uh, is an now. alternate school in Pune. Pune. Uh, and we visited, so Purva's uh, sister is also facilitator at Jignasa. And we went to Jignasa and, you know, it was, uh, and we saw it in action where, you know, there are no classrooms, kids mm -hmm. were just running around, beautifully designed space. Uh, and, 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 you know, just seeing it in action and all the kind of John, this, you know, <laughs> one plus one, two again, we thought, okay, this is possible, you know, uh, it is not only possible and it is doable, you know, so I think yeah. that Jignasa, it gave us a lot of confidence that, you know, we can pull this off. Yeah. So then uh, that means from that point of view, you all still were clear that mujhe homeschooling or unschooling nahi karna hai. I want, like how, you know, I was talking to Purva and Abhishek, they were saying that we wanted a hybrid model. Ye, mm -hmm. Iska ye bhi benefit thi, uska wo bhi benefit, dono ho saath mein. So, mm -hmm. you guys knew you all wanted to be there or it just made sense to do that? So, so for us, I think both of us are clear, we were open to the more uh, liberal model. But we had other co-parents who, uh, who are uh, more prone to a structured model. Mm -hmm. So one of my friends tell me, you know, you, you uh, three Indians together and all of the three have a different model of homeschooling. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what we decided at that point is that, okay, we, whatever we'll do, we'll do it uh, in a consensual manner, manner, you know, that we will come to some compromise, you know, which yeah. neither party is uh, agreed that, you know, we, this is not like, so, so that was the only base we started. We did not say that on which side of the spectrum we were, you know, in yeah. terms of structure versus unstructured. Uh, we said we will come to some kind of consensus based on who we are and, you know, what we, we think mm. is the thing. So, so that conversation, so we meet, I think, uh, every week yeah. at somebody's house. I think we've had like seven or eight or nine such meetings. Uh, much more. We used more. to meet at the King Circle Garden uh, many a times in the morning and uh, yeah, yeah. To meet there with the kids. And yeah, so yeah, yeah. We, we did a lot of this thing. Maybe uh, 15, 20 uh, meetings. meetings yeah. Yeah. And uh, also, I think uh, we had gone to 2018 May uh, International Education uh, Conference. Uh, uh, National Democratic Education Conference in Bangalore. And that's when we saw uh, many, many uh, kids from all over the world. Um, you know, kids from Japan and uh, Korea, Taiwan, uh, Israel, US, UK. Um, so it was just, it, we, we saw that and we were like, Are, ye to ho hi rahe. you know, it, it is already in happening, it's already in action. So it just, for me, it was like no turning back. We all, all these kids are there now. I mean, so there was no turning back for us. We met um, the, the guys from Bimi and we saw all the other, you know, other names uh, that you usually sort of like meet in the conferences. We had all the questions answered uh, about NIOS and IGCSE and Yevo uh, Sapuch. So yeah, it was basically the formula was set and all kinds of anxieties were sort of we, we knew that, okay, is a solution will Even if we didn't know the exact answers for it, 
बट वी न्यू दैट ओके आगे तो बस अभी स्टार्ट करना है एंड देन रेस्ट इज समथिंग दैट वी कैन फिगर आउट सो या आई थिंक सीइंग ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग मूवमेंट गिव अस लॉट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस यू नो आई थिंक स्लोली वन बाय वन बाय वन वी मेट पीपल एंड देन वी रियलाइज दैट ओके दिस इज नॉट वी आर अलोन दैट गिव अस अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस एंड या even though our friends and family were very against this but uh, <laughs> you know that's okay i mean uh, i mean the more people you see yeah that that brings you to an interesting point because uh, most of the times people who are parents who are able to successfully move forward in this di- direction is when both the husband and the wife are aligned to the thinking so this is something that you guys were aligned from right from day one itself or uh, you all discussed it was it one of you all had this idea and you all convinced the other guy what was that all about can you share your we, journey we were uh, uh, we were uh, set with this idea yeah. and the goal um so yeah, the curiosity of... was always always sort of शादी के पहले ये सब चीज डिस्कस करते थे या ये शादी के बाद अभी बच्चे करेंगे एंड देन द स्कूल डिस्कशन के started with uh, you know uh, free at last and uh, you know that uh, uh, john holt books you know how how children fail you know the, the, i mean the books we read together right so yeah. so in, in a way the 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 red pill we took together <laughs> <laughs> so that that and what motivated you to go to that lsuc to begin with so the books the uh, books. books and also arvind i mean you arvind so right? arvind uh, arvind is this uh, person um, so uh, kiali her daughter so i remember her and uh, i was just amazed because arvinda she's a she's a she's called a jeevan sathi at the so, so, association yeah. uh, she's a so, social worker and um association for india's development so uh, we were we were associated with that uh, when we were doing our masters in the us and so we have already seen her i had already seen this little uh, kiali uh, so if you talk to her in a particular language she'll reply back to you in that same language so she knew already like five or six languages and she was a chotu thing and it was amazing uh, like uh, arvinda will go to this narmada bachao andolan ka isme aur bachche ko mil jayegi and it was just uh, very different uh, you know the parenting that i saw of arvinda was a very different thing so i was quite inspired ki um, you know we take parenting i think the modern parents take or city parents or whatever uh, take parenting very seriously um i think we take so, a lot of- yeah there are so things there are social workers and they keep traveling us india india a lot of places so for them this kind of model really worked right because they themselves were traveling all the time hmm. so so that was an alignment with there and you know that and then you know she introduced us to lsuc and the books and everything you know so then one by one you know when the all the dominoes started falling yeah yeah the seeds were already uh, like uh, planted we though we sort of consciously think that okay jab bacche honge fir ye karenge uh, i think it, it was uh, thing that was waiting to come in some sense yeah. <laughs> and and it is right once once somebody tells you this you can't go back right i mean like <laughs> like very simple things like you know if if schools were running then why is the exam date pre announced koi bhi din pe exam le lo na i didn't get that one sorry so, what is that if you actually want to test how much a kid knows then why do you pre announce the exam date the exam should be a surprise <laughs> right i mean and 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 the, and why is the question paper of the same format every year i mean the only way i passed my engineering is because i saw last year ka paper aur wohi format mein aata hai <laughs> that's how i passed right <laughs> so really that's what you're saying is then you're really not testing them for how much they know anyway they're yeah. not testing right these are very simple yeah. questions anyway like the water newton's three laws right kitne logo ko maloom hai so you know this reminds me of the thing that happened to me when i was little uh, i think this is what triggered for my mom Okay, uh, there was a there was just something that happened in school. I was in Saint Mary's Mount Abu in Rajasthan, and uh, boarding school. So in every twice a year, my parents would make a trip to see me and stuff like that. So uh, in the parents' week, you know, parents get to also uh, find out how uh, talk to the teachers and the classroom teachers and all that. So they asked uh, one question to uh, my teacher. the teacher actually uh, was teaching us uh, biology i think i was in the 8th standard and you know there's these in the year <clears throat> there are these uh, there's this year drum 
and behind the ear drum there are these three bones right uh -huh. and uh -huh. then there is this they which kind of amplify the sound waves right after it comes and hits the ear drum those those bones are shaped like a so that it actually amplifies the sound waves and then at the end of the three bones there are these nerve endings over there which get hit and mm -hmm. then that gets transmitted as into the brain and it gets interpreted as sound and i'm i'm like asking one second i got to the point where it hits the ear drum and it vibrates and it increases and all that but when it hit the nerve how did the nerve and the brain how we how do we hear that as sa re ga ma pa how did how did we get that i mean like explain to me that and and the teacher is going like you know that won't come in the class that won't come in the exam, <laughs> the exam you, right? you you just you just remember the names of those three bones that might come in the exam huh. and i'm like i don't even remember those names today if you ask me i don't even know why i would want to remember those names exactly. even if it even if it did come up i'll have to go to google and search up what are those names of those three bones but that's when my mom i guess realized that you know he is curious he's not dyslexic or has a learning disability he's just not interested he, if you can't tell me what happens to the sound waves after it goes through those three bones and how do we the brain interpret it as as sound <laughs> i guess they figured uh, you know my my mom realized he he is curious enough to learn and want to know and because there is limited information available for this fellow's mind right now his question is bata aur tu nahi bata pa raha because uska abhi tak jankari nahi hai so uh -huh. i guess uh knowledge is something that you'll keep wanting to know and learn even right now i think we all want to learn so the, for me the exam model never worked it just never worked for me i, I always failed you know <laughs> sorry sorry for the ramble but <laughs> this is it right this is the whole matter here you know i mean that, that schools are not about learning that is very clear so so i think once you realize that then then you know then it is about Uh, and and then you know what schools are about you know that is the other question that comes around you know that that's where we learn from you know places like bimi and you know mm -hmm. all these things uh, that you know what is really is is you know half of that half of the things people do in schools is is housekeeping right <laughs> <laughs> so tell me one thing now that you guys have uh, created this uh, you're a part of the founder members of this sadhna learning center uh it's been now uh, more one, one year is over you're like in your second year right mm -hmm. uh how's the journey been so far and how are the kids responding to it and how are you guys where are you guys at um so um, just being a parent uh, also as a facilitator so i get to see <laughs> both sides um it has been has been uh, uh, um you know in some sense it has opened my mind and uh, one thing that i understand is that the kind of things that you do at the center cannot stop at the at the center itself you have to uh, carry them at home and this is not just uh, how you learn um, uh, differently at at the center but it is about having a different perspective towards life itself so you cannot just uh, sit back and say that okay i am going to give a one hour sort of like tuition for math or and this is how i'm going to do and some different antiques for teaching geography but this is about uh, the inner uh, explorations and inspiration that you will have ultimately for your life um so it 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 is you, you know in some sense when you get into this journey there isn't uh, um one uh, you know in the bad side like two sides of the coin wala thing hai nahi isme uh, you have to carry and you have to follow those principles um, at home and always and within yourself you know uh, after i have after we have sort of like moved on to this journey i have i have sort of like introspected what i want to do with my life and what it is um, when you are in your 40s and your 50s and 60s what do you want what is the legacy you want to leave behind so it's sort of like you know it it, it is so this is not a thing so um, that just stops at learning or teaching them the academics uh, only it is much more than that and and um, this is a this is the biggest change that has happened in the past one year the amount of time we have or the children have got is amazing 
the luxury uh, in, in in some sense it's a luxury of time you know kids these days if they go to school they are going to school from whatever 8 to 3 and they come back home and then they have their other tuitions and then the gym class or the this class or that class there is hardly time for them so um, my kids they leisurely leisurely uh, sit ulta on the sofa and read books and uh, you know they have explored my daughter has never known what it is to uh, uh, she's developed this real fondness for reading and like she just wants to read and you know she doesn't want to sleep at night because she thinks that's waste of time she wants to read um so i think uh, you you reach a point where you can really connect with yourself i think that's the um that's the real thing that we have learned actually this yeah. is what it is i i think you know being slightly outside uh, in a way i think the main difference i see is you know where the initiative lies you know all these years the initiative lied with the school you know the school yeah. wanted you to do this you know today is annual day you know you know uh, you know bring this cut out of letter a today and you know like <laughs> <laughs> so so that the initiative always lied with the school you know and the school was controlling the life of the kid you know and, and now the kid is uh, you know we we, we learn to trust the kid a lot more you know and the initiative is given to the kid and 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 that and this this also helps you in life right like where where you you, you don't want to control other people's lives you know you want to let them their initiative uh you know trust them to take their decisions you know how to spend their time and face the consequences of you know their actions in in a way you know so mm-hmm. i think that entire perspective changes where you know the trust yeah. is more i mean you're no longer looking at an institution to tell you ki you know at 10 o'clock ho gaya math padho 11 baje you know it's you know, you are in control you know like you know your curiosity drives uh, you know, how how you want to spend your time i think that i think that that, that is at home also right like for the rajipa said you know, it can't just be in school you know you know we have to give this initiative so i have a question here um this is this is very interesting the way you are sharing uh, your uh, whole experience the life shift shift in your thinking your whole life has changed it's not about schooling anymore it's about what your life is about now i'm just curious to know what is the um the work that you guys do you guys have a business which you all can run from home how did were there any concerns have there been any challenges as a result of we'll have to give attention to our kids also because you know i have to work and kids how does that all fit in how that worked out for you guys uh, so i i teach at an architecture college um um so i was going i was teaching four days in a week and um, so when we started i had I, i i had to compress all my classes on one single day so i started going there one day and uh, and the rest of the time i spent it uh, at sabna um rusha is a software yeah 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 i run a small software company so uh, i well last year before the lockdown i used to be mostly in office so <laughs> while <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, i think rajita is the one who's driving this for us uh, in inner way so right now because of a software company your team and you are able to work from your homes because of internet and the yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. i mean that's the transformation the whole way even like while we talk about how education is changing you know how work is changing you know that itself is going to be a huge transformation where you know again it is not that okay you know you come at office at a particular time do this do this do this that that then it's going to be more that okay what what is the like what is the outcome you're thinking right i think that outcome based thinking uh, we since we were in the software it was like nearly like that but yeah completely become like you know home working you know home schooling home working you know <laughs> self directed in some sense yeah. <laughs> it is fabulous okay great this is nice i just wanted to ask you if there's anything else you'd like to share with the audience uh, i my questions are, are over but if there's something you'd like to um say to other people who are on this journey uh, or who are actually are not sure whether they want to get onto this journey or not like they, they are they may not have access the book as yet the one that you guys got a hold of but but if there are people that are watching this video and they are into minds whether to do this or not what would your recommendation be to read the books that you guys have read and then take a plunge or what 
I think uh, it is, um, you know, everybody has this sort of like very soft point, some trigger point that happened, you know. And, um, and I actually really believed when I read the book because when I, uh, so I'm, uh, I also teach at the bachelor level courses. So the first uh, class that I took, uh, I prepared everything like how my professors taught me, like the equations and everything. And I went and I put all of that. And when I looked, kids were on their uh, phones and uh, they are you know 20 something and you can't sort of like uh, discipline them or anything I figured and that was like I, I fell, <laughs> fell on my face and I figured that I just couldn't motivate them um, and I didn't have any connect uh, with them and there was this huge gap and I saw that you know that was I was I was walking uh, right, uh, you know, on the wall and, and, and this is not going to work. I couldn't motivate them. I was not talking uh, the, the, the same things that they would want to hear. There was no connect whatsoever. So I had to change my gear. Uh, I had to change the way I was approaching them. While doing that, I sort of discovered that whatever I had learned in my school days, I had to relearn. Like, <laughs> because like you said, you know, I only concentrated on those three bones. <laughs> I never asked those questions. <laughs> so I wanted to pass. Uh, I always wanted to get the uh, the best of the marks. And I figured that I never, I never asked those really intelligent questions. I, I. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so for me, that was a big unlearning and then relearning things. I, when I was looking at those and those concepts of you know physics and uh, mathematics and why calculus was required I mean it sort of like dawned on me that there is some logic to it and by feeding them these prescribed uh, sort of like doses like one lecture by lecture by lecture uh, is just killing the curiosity so I think that was my own something that I was doing just you know it just kept me at unease all the while so um, that was, I think, if you reach there, na, <laughs> that's the trigger point. Then there is, you can't, if you do a U-turn and go back, it's, it's, it, you have to face yourself one day, right? Uh, you can't do this to your children. So I, I was, I think that's, that's a personal uh, sort of like reflection on the mirror or something. But yeah, uh, if you are one of those who like aced all the exams and gone to the, uh, you know, elitist of the schools and having a, you would never imagine that this could have happened. You know, you would never relate to those kinds of feelings, sitting in the classroom and not really, uh, teacher, mujhe dekh rahe hai toh, ucha karo ya nahi. <laughs> so it's, um, I think it's very personal in some sense. Reading books, of course, if you, when you read those books, you really have to feel it. And um, it's much easier to take that decision now, I think. Uh, 10 years before or 20 years before it was very difficult to do take a plunge i don't think we are that bold yeah um, i i think the other thing that would help is you know meeting other parents uh, you know who are doing it. i think that that also yeah. gives you a lot of confidence that you know you are and you know uh, that that and, and and seeing is also believing so so while while you have yeah. this thoughts in your mind that you know there is something terribly wrong about the way education mm -hmm. is today uh, seeing this and you know making it happen, it just makes it easier. You know, it's like you know having for yeah. So this is interesting because uh, one I know is LSUC. That's why I keep going there every year. I don't know whether there's going to be one in 2021 because of the lockdown. But mm -hmm. I, I I keep going there uh, to get a recharge because I meet not just alternative education but alternative lifestyles people over there, right? Uh, are there any others that you've been to that you can uh, uh, recommend that you've been to other than LSUC? So we've been to the Indian Democratic Education Conference. Uh, last year's was in Coimbatore. And uh, so that's where uh, we met lots of schools from the South. And uh, education as a, as a whole, as a sector, through a churning by itself. You know, there are so many people, even if they are not become taking the radical step itself, but they do understand that this, you know, getting all the 60 kids cooped up in a classroom, that's not the way forward. So they do understand that you have to get kids, you know, to show a picture of a tree is not enough. Now you have to take them to the field trips and you have to get the kids out 
um so there is a learning already happening um so i think um, i think more schools right you know more uh, like the centers that we have opened uh, you know in mumbai uh, that was another center that uh, i don't in thane you know which uh, exists so so there are you know these mushrooming of centers that is happening which is this one in thane i want to know what is it called but free bird learning center I I don't know if they're still active this year, but they were at least active last year. Last so year, they, they would be. You know, they have a nice uh, uh, place uh, at uh, Yeur Hills. You know, that Yeur Hills. Uh, I yeah. do. Do you have their contact details, and I can do an interview with them. <laughs> pass on that to you. So 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 you know, seeing free birds, seeing jignasa, and you know, all these mushrooming of alternate centers. You know that you know we hope to you know. Uh, so that is why we 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 are not doing homeschooling, and we are doing what we call community homeschooling. <laughs> you know that is <laughs> uh, that is how uh, how we look at this experiment, right? That uh, while we uh, and and then and then we really hope that you know this this picks up, right? And and more and more kids become you know liberated in a sense uh, uh, from <laughs> from the tyranny of classrooms and tyranny of uh, institutions. So, <laughs> so I, I yeah, I mean you know I, I you know you know who who who's experiment to you know homeschoolers are everywhere, you know mushroom like mushrooming everywhere. So. you know meet people and uh, exchange ideas and i think the confidence will slowly build and it it is going to be a journey for anybody who wants to last year uh, i remember last year there were many parents who uh, who had come to yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. visit our place i think hundreds of parents would have come and visited the uh, learning center yeah. at satna you know that itself you know i'm sure some of them will turn back you know and you know mm-hmm. come back again and you know think about it or see other centers and and some of the lockdowns got sort of like uh, helped uh, you know they understand now now the schools have opened and they they are the kids are sitting in front of the screen and uh, even if they don't have to show up in front of the screen at 7 o'clock but they do have is the school timings you know <laughs> so 7:30 ko seedha screen ke samne uh, uh, you know so the, yeah so the those the parents are really actually thinking what they are taking their kids too you know so yeah. that's sort of like uh, so there are many ca- parents who want to come and visit us right now because they want to really see how we function what we do how how we do things so yeah there are more curious curious parents now yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so covid 19 you know, covid 19 is actually helping get, get you guys more visibility <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 collateral yeah. benefits yeah <laughs> anyway it's been a pleasure talking to both of you thank you and uh, hopefully we should probably connect again in maybe in a year or two or three to sure. see where things yeah. have moved for you guys and you know other people can see what's happening you know on this journey yeah. so yeah yeah, yeah. also sure. thank you thank, thank you so much and uh, good yeah. luck with your project too uh, with, <laughs> yeah and uh, you're welcome to you know drop by at learning center for any i will definitely i'll try and bring more people there <laughs> thank you thank you thank you Bye. Bye. Thanks, Rishi. Bye. 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 Bye.